ladies and gentlemen, you know, around 612 this evening, I felt an aftershock and I thought I was losing my mind, but other people felt it too. So I went online and I looked and I found something that said we will be having aftershocks probably over the next few weeks. So earthquake in New York City area updates. Tremors felt eight hours after quake from Philadelphia to Long Island. And it's not unusual to have aftershocks. Aftershocks of a morning of earthquake Friday felt from Philadelphia to Long Island about eight hours after a 4.8 magnitude quake hit the area mid-morning. A rare earthquake shook the New York City area Friday morning, rattling parts of the Big Apple, Long Island, Connecticut, and New Jersey. The preliminary 4.8 magnitude earthquake struck near Lebanon, New Jersey, around 10.23 a.m., according to the U.S. Geological Survey. The site later reported a 2.0 aftershock felt in Bedminster, New Jersey. You know, that's where Donald Trump has a golf course. Around 1 p.m., two other aftershocks, a 2.0 and a 1.8 happened in the afternoon, but are normal and not expected to cause further damage. So, <clears throat> you know, sometimes aftershocks can be strong. You know, every now and then you do hear about strong ones. And um, the mayor's office and the governor's office in New York said they felt it too. Shortly after 6 p.m. Eastern Time Friday, New York City Mayor Eric Adams spokesperson tweeted that the office felt what we assumed was an aftershock and said the city emergency management department would have an update soon. And they did. They went out on X and that's what they posted. Newark, New Jersey. They said some of the residents in Newark, New Jersey, were forced to evacuate after the earthquake. Some residents in Newark, New Jersey, were forced to evacuate their homes, which experienced structural damage from the 4.8 magnitude earthquake that occurred around 1030 a.m. this morning. Now, I did not hear about anybody having to evacuate around my area, but I, yeah, you know, wow. First responders arrived to inspect homes in Newark following the 4.8 magnitude earthquake. Wow. Looked like they did block off some streets there. People were standing outside of their homes, which were damaged by the earthquake. No injuries were reported during the evacuations. Residents were loaded into a van and evacuated after their homes experienced structural damage. So the governor of New York said on X that the aftershocks from today's quake is normal and that they aren't expected to create more damage. The most recent aftershock occurred a few minutes ago. Aftershocks are expected following an earthquake of this magnitude. So she's just acknowledging it out there on um, X. Pennsylvania man. <laughs> oh, darn, was getting a vasectomy when the earthquake? Wow, during the earthquake, he was getting a vasectomy. <laughs> In New York City Friday morning, forcing the surgeon to set down the scalpel as the poor guy was wondering whether a train was passing. I hope nobody's having uh, uh, any type of operating room and trains are passing. Nah, I, I, that wouldn't be a good thing. Damn, that's messed up. The doctor was like, 
I think this is an earthquake. I figure he was messing with me, but this is what the guy that was getting the vasectomy said. But I had to stop because everything was shaking. Justin Allen of Horsham. This is what he said to the Guardian. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. So New Yorkers who were lucky enough to still be in bed at 10 a.m. on Friday were taken to social media to describe their wake up call. Yeah, you know, because that happened to my son. You know, he was sleeping and it woke him up. He said that's what woke him up. He felt it. And of course, anticipating that there'll be someone to ruin the fun. Well, I mean, I don't think that was fun to too many people feeling something like that in the morning. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I'm sure people in other parts of the country that get much stronger ones probably think this is a joke, you know, <laughs> but for us, it's really significant. Okay. And it just talking about retailers and them. I'm not getting into that, you know, and of course they're selling, I survived the New York city earthquake. Yeah. Of course they're going to cash in on it, you know, but the epicenter of the earthquake they said was in Lebanon, New Jersey. And the fire department was on the scene of a housing development. Uh, and the residents there are age 55 and older when the quake hit. Uh, yeah, well, I'm looking at it, but it don't look like there was any damage out there. So y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think. And if you're, especially if you're in the Northeast, let me know if you felt any of the aftershocks. I didn't feel all of them. I just felt one. And like I said, it was like around 612. And all of the other ones, they might have happened, but they were not strong enough for me to feel them. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.